Hi, this is Duncan Moore, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a low bench. This is uh, specifically used for sitting on, but can be used for many options. It's for keeping a main frame off of the ground and giving you a small temporary bench. Obviously, be scaled up on any sort of scale you need, depending on um, weight of the wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we've got the two ground pieces here going this degrees we're going off with the main so what we'll do is we'll tie off on this one with a clove hitch and then we'll create a square lashing around this end so I have two piece, equal pieces of carol uh, paracord here um, best thing to do with this is to keep it wrapped up whilst you're doing your square lashing because it saves you getting all fingers and thumbs. So we tie a clove hitch and make sure we get the beam the way round we wish to have it. Obviously don't want anything too sharp sticking up on this side, making it uncomfortable to use. So the initial bit can be a bit fingers and thumbs. So we're going to start off on our square lashing, like you can see on the other video how to tie a square lashing. So we come around, just get your initial run in first of all before you pull it tight. Once you get start to get a bit of stability with it, you can start to pull it in, and then you want to just follow your square lashing pattern. Keep that nice and tight as you can. All right, now what we're going to do, got a few lashings around there because this is going on the ground, it hasn't got to be super strong lashing. Now we're going to pull in, pull in the lashings to tighten them in. Really get a good tug on them on your first couple round. And that should pull it all together. And then making sure you've got enough left just to tie off to your end. Lost me end. So that's one square lashing on that end. Yeah. 
and we just go through the same process again. So we're going to tie our clove hitch. You see, you can see how to do the clove hitches and the lashings on the other videos on the channel. And then we work again. Just trying to keep that as nice and tight as possible. Now obviously if you can cut these all off the same... Oops, should have kept the mouth shut then. If you can keep these all on the same, from the same fallen log if you find it, you have a very similar uh, dimension and girth to the logs, which gives you a bit more evenness. Try and give that a nice Bite in now, keep it nice and tight. This is a really good little project for young and old people to do as well actually, but especially young people because it gives them something they can do and then use afterwards. Okay, so what we're going to do now, start to pull in the lashings. This is where you really want to get some elbow into it. Keeping that really nice and tight. Just got enough there to tie off to the first loose end from the Clovich. We have our low bench. <laughs> 